And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. All right, if we look at our stats here, check this out. Oink. You can see we are delivering way more cows, like way more cows than we were before. I mean, it is a stark difference. If we look at the charts of production, you can see our production values um well this one this one's a little different uh yeah this one just upgraded and we're still kind of sorting th those out but look at that difference so, like we were on the trend downward for some reason and now we are bouncing back if we look also on the charts here you can see we were struggling and now we're delivering um way more like we're talking twelve thousand, maybe thirteen thousand. Uh, in one year now we have way more demand than that but if we look at our close cities like the hub uh, this is sitting at 65 percent now this was like in the low 20s so we are bouncing back there there are a couple other cities that we're doing pretty well in uh, if we look like northeast 39 percent um, not doing too bad here. Um, yeah, see goods. I compare compare the food to goods. Like there's just no. It's obvious what we did with food made a difference. So I have gone through and I've sold all of the trains delivering steel. I want to try this out for steel, and I want to see. If we can get some good numbers of trains on here, these are already set up to share. And I want to see if we can get like three, like three trains on each, on each line here. So the next two are here and here. And then the next two, we can put them up here. And the next two, we'll, we'll line up the next two like here and here with the first two and we'll then offset them again and then bring way up here because again I want to I want these trains to be staggered so I'll move way up here so you can see it's kind of staggered out and then out again so you know it should have these trains pulled back a little bit you know on second thought this one was a little too close to that other signal i want to move this one way back here there like way back so now they should be well staggered and we've got two different blocks in there which will help keep three trains running. Now, this station is not nearly as long as what I've been putting in. So if we look, this is 10 cars. So I can probably do one, two, three, four more. So probably 14 cars on that. Um, tools, steel supply, which looks like a medium gray so buy one of these we're gonna re use the regular state cars set to steel and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen cars so 252 is the magic number there I got to remember that uh, and then we're gonna triple those up So the next line, gray, steel, 252, triple them up. All right. Steel. 
steel. And finally, <clears throat> now let's actually stagger these for delivery. So this one, this is going to be tools, steel, supply. Let's let that one start out. Um, what's our line frequency here? Uh, we are at 117 seconds right in here. That one's pulling out to the first one. Uh, set line, tools, steel, supply. They, they just creep out of, of these depots. <clears throat> so now we're down to 58 seconds. And uh, as you probably have discovered, I've deleted the slag line. So slag is no longer going to be delivered. All right, this first train should fill up. 252. Yes, indeed it does. Yeah, each, each row here is 100. So it's pretty easy to see that there's almost 400 steel sitting there. Okay, that one's ready to go. Let's send this one on its way. <clears throat> so now we're down to 39 seconds. And how is line frequency doing here? Well, we haven't quite delivered there we go now we're demanding more so yeah this production is plummeting but hopefully uh, if we pull this up I can close that uh, we have one more train set to do here tools steel supply you guys can go so now we're down to 29 seconds. That's pretty darn good. So yeah, it's going to downgrade unless we start delivering quite a lot of material. Hopefully, we'll start seeing some demand here. Because <clears throat> boy, do we have demand on the tools and machine side of things. And we should see, yes, we should see some steel now being delivered and in production. Not exactly delivering very fast, but production is going up, which is going to be very, very good for us. <clears throat> And hopefully this production is going up as well. We should have this bounced back pretty early. I uh, ran it for a little while to sell the trains that were here. So there's a little bit of lag time on all of this. All right, I think, oh, look at that. It readjusted 24 seconds. Look at all the trains that we have on there, though. Woo! All right, so if we look at this, number of items should come close to that. Come over here. Should start seeing a little bit of delivery. Now, of course.
course, this one is empty. Okay. Little bits of steel are going to be good for us. Just want to make sure this guy turns around and has a has a path back. We we just need that consistent amount of steel coming in. We always want this potential to be up there because having that drop would not be good. <clears throat> it's just going to take a little bit of time. I hope. Looks like production at our steel mill is up to a point where it's going to not downgrade, which is good for us. Here we get even more consistent amounts of steel. You can see all of the trains running in various states of steel delivery, which is really, really what I'm going for. There's still trains coming out of the out of the depot as well. So I just don't know why that demand is so low. Like, why is that demand so low when we have un unbelievable amounts of tools and machines to deliver like i don't know why that demand that demand should be like 50,000 i don't know how that translates Okay, how are we doing on production values here? Oh, it looks like it might downgrade on us. Try to live more. We got plenty of plastic there, Mr. Factory. You do not need any more plastic. There we go. Trying to bring this production up. I don't know how high it has to be. For it to be like, oh, we got enough now, thanks. But hopefully we're going to start making more tools with a more consistent amount of steel. There we go. Steel potential has gone back up. It's a little bit higher now. Maybe it's detecting that, yes, indeed, we are delivering again. hoping I'm hoping the steel mill even though you know it's got 8,000 limit I'm hoping that we start demanding more than it can than it can deliver at this level and it, and it bounces up that's really what I'm hoping for <clears throat> getting a good amount of steel supply pretty consistent amount of steel coming in and let's see what happens at the end of this month, what, uh, what happens with our steel demand. Uh, oh, it downgraded on us. Um, which is fine. I'm, I'm not going to sweat that right now. It'll, it can upgrade again pretty easily. But the important thing is it didn't drop steel demand. It just normally we were delivering so much so fast that it would just drop steel and that really hurt our throughput because we would have trains stop pick up nothing and go travel all the way back and that was a huge waste and what are you doing you are not delivering steel so why aren't you delivering steel we have it in demand. You're just like not delivering at all. Like, give me steel. There's some steel coming in. <clears throat> that was weird. So I'm hoping, yeah, this 
I'm hoping this bounces back. We need to do something similar to goods because obviously goods are something that we are not delivering nearly enough of right now. I might want to put another, well, I could try to put another steel mill here. It seemed to be it seemed to be helpful with the cows. As you can see, our potential is going up. I don't know I don't know how it calculates that. If we look at the production, we're going pretty good there. Production's pretty good there. Not nearly what it needs to be, but I love try to deliver more plastic. Like you got four thousand plastic. Pretty sure you have enough plastic. <clears throat> Maybe it's telling us deliver more plastic more consistently. Where is our plastic? There it is. <clears throat> so currently I've got plastic I do have it doubled up well we're delivering it in the heavy hauling and that might yeah we're not delivering very much plastic so I'm thinking that that's a red herring it's not actually wanting more plastic Oh, auto save. I mean, I don't think we need another tool manufacturer. I don't think we need one. Let's go over to food and see how that's doing. So if we look at the charts, you can see we got a little ways to go before we're back up to where we need to be. <clears throat> yeah. So our potential for steel is creeping ever, ever more northward here. There we go. There's a good amount of steel that we just got delivered. That should help our production values quite a bit. How's our steel mill doing? This is the one thing that I think might need to be doubled. Let's go check food before we end it here. Uh, if we look, kind of falling back down again. Although last year, obviously we're not quite done with the year yet uh, how's how are cows doing this will this will tell us a lot yeah we're oh yeah look at all the cows being loaded in all of a sudden it does not take long for it, it to bridge this gap with all the trains that we're running you can see how they're kind of staggered you know down around that was what my that was what my goal was okay so this should creep this loading up quite a bit after all these guys load oh yeah we're we're bridging that although we don't have very long to do it a couple more months What are you doing there? You're 300. You're going to load up another 300. You're going to load up another 300. Oh, yeah, look at all the cows that we're suddenly pulling in here. Like I said, it does not take long for it to bridge that gap. As long as that potential stays up there. As soon as that, oh, there it goes. 
Maybe it's because I have two of these out here. I have a feeling it's because I have two of these. I wonder if one of these, like, can I, can I bulldoze one of these? And we're going to see how then that translates to just one farm getting all those cows. Because I, I did this change to try to test it out before I did anything else. Because theoretically, one farm should be able to handle all of the demand. See, we got deliver we got trains stopping by here that are not yeah that potential didn't bounce up at the beginning of the month oh man i just wish i knew where the where the fault was in these productions so this looks like it might upgrade again at least upgrade back to what we need it to be how about this little guy He's actually producing one of each now, which is something he wasn't doing before. We have, ooh, we got like full trains of steel coming in now. It's glorious. Look at that, our, our plastic demand has gone way up too. All right, yeah, now our <clears throat> we should be getting some consistent production here. Keeping us in stock of steel will really help keep those production numbers high, but odds are that this potential is going to drop off when the new month comes through. Look at that demand for, whew. All right. Have one more month pass by us here. And see you. Oh, right, the potential doesn't disappear. That's good. Production is still still climbing. All right, yeah, we're, we're producing like crazy now. So we're getting back up to what we were at. Getting a consistent supply coming in. It's demanding lots and lots of plastic, which we are slowly delivering. So how are production numbers? Oh yeah, look at that. That is really, really good. And we're gonna run out of steel as soon as we get two trains full of steel coming in. So we'll probably get a hit a little bit with our production values, but it's really hard keeping those keeping those numbers up. Like it's really hard. The number of trains that we're running. Hopefully bring those back up to, to what they were. So if we look at the, the steel mill over here. <clears throat> this is looks like it's wanting to upgrade still, which is good. Because we are demanding more steel, 10,000, than this thing can actually produce. But as soon as it upgrades, I bet you it would, it would hurt it. So 
So yeah, we are demanding lots of coal, lots of iron. And so far, it's been pretty stable. Production values here are going up. All right. I kind of want to do the same thing over here to planks. Have the same, same changes. Maybe. I, I really... Really think it would be helpful. Because, yeah, we are not moving enough material, not even close, to keep up with that, with the number of planks that we actually need to deliver to our goods. Goods right now are taking a real hit. Like 28,000 is our demand, and we're producing 6,600. Not even close to what we need to be doing. which is unfortunate. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to want some more planks. I don't know. What's uh, what's everybody up for? I, I guess we could continue cracking at this to see if we can't get these numbers back up again. Um, now that our production or our uh, demand is really skyrocketing. Like, really, Sky? Look at that, 30,000. Not bad. Let's uh, take a quick peek after the autosave of our areas out here. So, we're actually moving a few people. Surprising. Um, let's take a look at these. H1AP. So the clockwise is not losing as much money as the counterclockwise. This is interesting. Which means it's not moving as many people. So for some reason, more people want to go clockwise than counterclockwise. So 15 people here. What's 15 people going to pay us? That's not bad. I mean, these trains are not cheap to run. So we're not breaking even yet. But I think the towns are slowly responding. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. We definitely have people moving around. It might help to do a bus line or two around around the station. But the game, the performance of the game right now is a little less than ideal. So yeah, that's that's always an issue. Yeah, the reason that that is worth so much, I mean, it's got coverage there, coverage there, and coverage there. So it's got three different mass transit hubs. So I'm hoping this it'll draw, it'll draw people over here. I'm just hoping it does. All right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.